This video is not made for children under the age of 18. If you're not 18, well, let's face it, age restricted. But parents, do not let your children watch this channel. Snatch their phone away and make sure to let them read a book. Please, enjoy the video. Also, PBS, um, it will have strong language. So, don't let, don't let your kids watch this. Thank you. And enjoy this video. Hi guys, what's up? So welcome back for another Hogwarts ID for you guys. Now, have you guys already seen um, the 2015 Jaguar F-Type Project 7, which is this one I have here. Make sure to go to the information symbol at the top right to check it out, which is out there. Or if you can't find it, make sure to uh, just wait until the end of the video to check it out. Um, anyway, so today I'm going to review is another Hogwarts ID for you guys. And this time we have is the from Series 1. And I, and I have this. From the HW Metro series, number one out of five I have here is the Fiat 500E. And... Crap, I forgot, about, I forgot what I was about to say. Oh yeah. If you're new for this channel, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And be advised, this video is not made for kids and annoying teenagers. This is for adults collectors only for the age of 18 and older. If you're not 18, get out of here. Besides, I already age restricted video. And also, if you want to support this channel, make sure to PayPal me on on PayPal. Duh. Anyways. So here it is, the front of the packaging of the Fiat 500E. And the tiniest card ever. I don't know if Fiat still exists or not. I'm like, I don't fucking know. Uh, this is the international packaging, not the U.S. version. You guys already seen the the review of the Jaguar. You already seen the differences between those. So here it is, what it looks like. Here's the stat of it, of the diecast, and here is the diecast itself. See, HW Metro number one out of five. Pretty good. And here is the back of the packaging, not in there. So that pretty much is it. Let's open it up and take a look. So here it is, the Fiat 500E out of the packaging. The painting, the sculpting, the detailing of this diecast, even the decals of it looks so cool and funny at the same time. The spectral flame orange with the with a little bit of hints of spectral flame green, the white stripes, even with the Fiat logo right there, it, if you can barely see it, looks so good. And also... The reason why I said it is funny because they have the Hawk Wheels piece of the livery. Pretty funny. Also, they have the Hawk Wheels ID right there. You can see the HW Metro right there on the Hawk Wheels ID tires right there, which is pretty good. And the front lights are painted. That's very good. Even this painted the spoiler at well, the bottom part right there. Even on the back, even the back lights are painted also. Um, my major. There's only one thing that's complaining about this diecast. Well, it's kind of small. I understand why it's small. It's, it's a fucking Fiat. I understand why. It's a Fiat. What we fucking do? It just, I feel like it's like, it's too small will fit in on the boosters. Well, the way the design of it, it will work with booster loops curved downhill racing because of the, because of the design like this. But I feel like it won't like the booster won't catch the the die cast. It, it, it's 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 not wide enough, not too wide. Yeah, it's it's bothersome. You also can see the Hawk Wheels piece of the livery right there. It does roll pretty well. I want to mention one thing of and and here is the bottom of it. Of course, plastic um, plastic base, metal body. A great weight to it, by the way. And of course. Of course, like all the how to work with the Hogwarts ID app, all you need is your f your phone, Bluetooth, location on the race portal, and the cars, and the car you're gonna scan for for today. 
So, of course, just put it right there in the race portal. Uh, race portal. Wait until the data, data is in there. You can see the Fiat 500E in there. And the car is now coming in to the packaging. I mean, not the packaging. In my garage on the phone. Compare the colors on the game in real life. The game looks on the green looks a bit brighter. And it looks very cool. I also forgot to mention one thing. The Fiat logo. If you can barely fucking see it. Focus on the camera. The Fiat logo. Fully painted. <laughs> yeah. There's not much about to say about this diecast. It's just I feel like it's too small. And it was never going to fit in the track. But what do you guys think? If you guys could t uh, test my theory out. Go right ahead and do it. Anyways you guys. I'll tell next time. If you guys want to see the 2015 Jaguar. Um, F-Type Project 7 review. Make sure to go ahead and check it out. Until next time, you guys. Have fun. Stay safe. And I'm always... I'm out.